Okay, so I simply create a plane using this one. This one is rectangular plane, corner to corner. I click it and I'll somewhere just, I type zero for the origin. And then I type 72 comma 36, which is our table size. And after I doing that, I click this one, which one, this one is point on or off. I click it and then select object and enter. Then you will see the control point of a geometry. What I'm going to do is uh, this one is just simply I select point and type M to move. Wait, I just select the point? Sorry. Just sell, uh, so select just simply point. Oh, okay. To select multiple items using shift key. So shift left mouse button will select it. Just use your mouse a cursor near the point. Or you can do this way. I so like this is the same thing with AutoCAD. If you drag from left to right, you are going to select an object which is inside this rectangle. If you're doing reverse way from right to left, you will select all the geometries that the, the rectangle cross it. So I'll do this one is I'll select this one. Using shift, I'll select this point. And by type move, I will move it. A little bit move, a little bit. So start point and end point. And this is simply some three-dimensional structure. Another way of using it is actually I will create, I will delete it. Another way of using it is just simply box. So I'll use box and then zero, the original point. My size is 72 comma 36. And let's say height is 12. So I have a box like this. And then what I'm going to do is in front view, I will draw some curves. So I need four boundary curves around this bounding box. So I just simply draw you curve using this one, second one, control point curve. I just simply uh, draw any curves you like. So I draw one. And whenever, whatever you draw in front view, that the front, the curves will be located this uh, Y plane, which is or Y is zero. And then I'll move it a little bit back. So this one is M by using M. I'll move it back to near back side of the box. I'll draw. You're gonna video, right? huh? You're gonna the video, right? Yes, th I'm recording it now. Okay. So and then I will draw a curve again. I will draw it in front view. And then this one is actually at front surface. I will repeat this process on right view. So I draw a curve, but I will start oh, using object snap on. I will draw a curve from this end curve here. And draw some curves and finishing with other end. And I will draw another four curves. St I will select the end point at perspective view, but I come to the right view and then I will draw these curves. And then I'll finish at this perspective to finish that. Oh, actually this one is, as you see, this one is a little bit uh, at, this is not on G plane, so I delete that. I try again. I select here. Oh, this one is keeping moving back. So I just, okay, so then I just draw simply from this line to this line, and that's it. So it's very simple. So I have four connected boundary curves if you have these four connected boundary curves 
you can use network surface so network surface this is one is the most common function to create a Jaha like geometry and I enter I simply select four curves and then this one asks you something I just simply say yes and it will create a surface between these four curves yeah uh, I got completely lost I got the box I got two curves in the box because I drew them uh -huh. how do I uh, Another way of doing it, I will repeat it again. Control Z, I will delete everything other than this bounding box. Another way of drawing cu a curve on a surface is actually if you go here and then click the triangle, you will have the third one is interpolate on surface. So if you use interpolate on surface, you can select a surface. I will select the right one. And then you can draw a curve on that surface and enter. So you can use this one too. And I will do it again. I will repeat it. I will use interpolate on surface. I s and then I will select the surface. If you select somewhere near uh, two surfaces are or overlapped geometries, you will have an option. I'll do it again. So I select interpolate curves, select the surface, and then draw a curve. It's not so great, so I will repeat again. And I select the surface, and then draw curves. I repeat it, interpolate curve on surface, select surface. If you fail to select the right surface, just simply cancel it and repeat it. Select surface, just draw some curves. I repeat again, interpolate on curve, select the surface, draw a curve. Okay, so, so now you have four connected curves on four sides, simply using network surface, and you select all four curves, then you will create a surface like this.